Hello friends, I got a new toy in the market today which is the morphing missile launcher the stun series and this is from fast lane radio control toys uh, as it, you can see it requires 8 AA batteries looking at the box uh, there are few things that we can see which are new to it the reason is because it morphs it itself into different shapes it, it closes it, it opens, it launches the missiles and this is how it looks like the other good thing that I see here that I have not seen most of the toys is the 40 minute playing time so this is what I am excited about because if a car that gives 40 minutes of playing time I think it should be good I am not sure like if it runs fast or is it like a still car that launches missile so let's unbox it and let's see how it works if it is worth the price so I have just taken it out of the box uh, from overall it, it looks a nice car the overall design of the car looks pretty nice kids will really like it especially if they watch such kind of sci-fi movies they will really love it because we will actually see it how it morphs into itself and does it have some lights i see a light inside which is red light so does it uh, focuses light and uh, this is uh, the normal one i think probably when we start using the remote we will actually come to know what exactly is that and whether it is worth the price it comes with three missiles here and four missiles which are preloaded before uh, we buy and the remote uh, there is something new in this remote which is like a couple of few functions other than the joystick so the joystick I'm thinking it should be to move the car forward and backward but I see a push button which is kind of uh, jokey but yeah I, I, I can just press it the morph I want to put it off or on and what how do I need to morph it like uh, have three buttons A B C and two buttons to fire the missiles comes with the manual but sometimes we actually ignore the manual and just try to do everything on our own so just notice that initially I opened these screws but they should not be opened you should actually open these screws to install the batteries and then once you do that you just pull it outside it comes out and here is the place where actually you will be installing your batteries so this is just for your information so that you don't end up opening up other screws because they all look as if they are the places where you should be installing your batteries okay so I have this car outside now and uh, uh, looking at this it is quite flexible car if you can see it has it is preloaded with six missiles which is right over here it uh, moves on its own so probably it will be more interesting once we have the batteries in it and there are there are three modes here a B and C I'm not sure what is that is that for different frequency range or if multiple people are playing you can set it based on that or what kind of transformation you need probably we need to see a on and off button which is like transforming into itself okay oh wow so I can transform it I can I pull it back if you see here yes yeah so this is how I think it's, it's going to work I can just transform it into different ways if I pull it you can see that the top comes down and it becomes a full car probably once you put batteries into it it will be uh, once you put batteries into it it will look much better let's not break it by playing manually
I just uh, observed that uh, the way to set this remote is uh, the buttons that we are talking that is A, B and C that you can see. Let me see like if I can focus on it. Yeah, this button A, B and C. This actually should match the where uh, the frequency where you are uh, setting up for the vehicle. So I show you under the vehicle there are like three settings for it. So what settings do you want to keep? It is like A, B and C. If it is B here, it should be B on the other side. Uh, the same setting we will do for this remote and let's say like this is b and this is a i try to play with that it actually doesn't work so it doesn't work because both the frequencies doesn't match so i just uh, make it also b and see i'll just try to see so you see here it works and these are more of the level that you can see and let me morph it okay so it's morphed now let's see the range of the missiles that it shoots so we have a box that's kept so this is what i'll just say so this is the buttons that you see on the top that actually have, are for firing the missiles and this button is for morphing i'll show you once again this is how you do i keep on pressing that it morphs itself and it converts so let's fire the missiles ah, they're pretty nice So guys, we will test it on the frequency which is the level A. So if you can see here, I have set it to level A and similarly the same frequency I have set on the car. So as I told earlier, if you have set it to A, you have to set the same frequency on the car, otherwise it will not work. So let's see, I will try to fire the missiles. How far does it go? Okay, so we're ready. So the other thing that I have noted here is in case if it's open and you just try to fire, sometimes it doesn't work. So you have to close the car, you have to make it uh, and uh, again morph it again back to the shooting position. Yes. So if you see here, yeah, you can see it reached till the place where I was uh, recording this video. So I'll just go and set it on B and let's see how it works. Is it the same range or does it fire a little bit higher?
So guys, this is the second set of testing where I am running it on the frequency which is uh, B. Let me show. So I have put it on B and the same frequency I have set on the card. So it should. Uh, we, we will just test it out whether it fires the same range or does it require anything. So let me close it again and we are ready to fire now. Okay. Oh, one does not because that was not fit properly. Yeah, so I don't see any difference. So what I find about this car is it is more of playing indoor rather than playing it outside because as we saw it was not able to very well play on the carpet as well and this is more of a sophisticated toy that we can think of because on the hard surface the components might break and it may not be of any use to us. So I would suggest it's better to play with this car indoor rather than taking it outside and playing in the park and grass it's no way it's going to play because uh, on the carpet it was not able to perform well so kids will really enjoy it and this is kind of new product in the market so they will really like it so so guys thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please do leave in the comments i will reply to your comments and uh, wait for my next review thank you